Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at Filmlight's new Baselight Look, which is a replacement to Baselight Student. We're gonna talk about the restrictions, the features that it has, because it has some added features from Baselight Student, and we're just gonna sort of have a bit of a summary today of uh, what Baselight Look is all about. So let's get into it. So this is Baselight Look. It looks and feels pretty much exactly the same as Baselight Student. You won't have to relearn the interface or change the way you grade. This is still the same Baselight UI. So, What's new? Well, first of all, you can now export BLG files from Baselight Look. If you don't know, BLG files or Baselight Grade files contain all of the grading information from your Baselight Grade stack. These BLG files can be used to transfer and view Baselight grades in other softwares like Avid Media, Composer, Nuke, and Flame, although you do need the Baselight Editions plugin for these softwares for this functionality to work. So this is really cool that they've added this into Baselight Look, but there is a caveat. These BLG files from Baselight Look are what's called static look data, so they have no time-based information. So you are a little bit limited to the functionality of these BLG files, but it's a good start. Baselight Look has support for the M1 chip on Mac, but also has all of this functionality. But this is a learning tool after all, so what are the restrictions? First of all, this is Mac OS only. Secondly, you can only render H.264 movies and JPEG images. This means that you can't use Baselight Look to deliver the required range of deliverables colorists generally need to deliver, which is a deal breaker for using this software as a proper grading tool. You can't even cheat with the system. Um, the jobs and scenes that you create in Baselight Look can't be imported into a full Baselight system and vice versa. Also, there are some restrictions on what external control surfaces are supported, uh, but the full list of restrictions is here. Funnily enough, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to about Baselight Look is the licensing functionality. With Baselight Student, it was a 90 day license, and when that expired, you had to go to the website and get another license. With Baselight Look, it's a six month auto renewing license. So the period is doubled, but also when it expires, it will auto renew as long as you're connected to the internet. Every bloody 90 days, I had to renew my Baselight Student license on this channel to create content for you guys. So the fact that this license has doubled and will auto renew is amazing. What do you guys think of Baselight Look? Leave a comment down below, make sure to drop me a like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see some more Baselight Look content coming your way. I'm just about to release a download and setup guide on this channel, so if you're interested in Baselight Look, definitely hit that subscribe button. Cheers, guys.